into a gravity. Big hit comes in from Mark Lewis that time on Paul Schumacher. Then we get a bump, then we get a go. As Fitzgerald is, well, he's jumped in on Lewis, and Lewis is ready to go with Fitzgerald. Lewis's helmet is already off, and he's still going to throw Fitzgerald with the right hands over the top. That could go big, ball the shot, a huge left hand from Fitzgerald, and down goes Lewis. Good fight from those two. Well, that's more what the Devils needed, but Fitzgerald gets the win in that. Also an assist for Mark Richardson. He adds an assist to his goal earlier. And the Sheffield Steelers find themselves in a position they haven't been in throughout this Elite League season. And we're going to have a punch-up. Fitzgerald wants to get the crowd going. And it's a rematch from last night. Lewis and Fitzgerald. We still wait for the first punch to really land. And there comes the left from Fitzgerald, one that lands and one that misses over the top. And Lewis swings a right. Fitzgerald with the overhand and then the uppercut. And now they're starting to land. Lewis is trying to hold on. And Lewis gets the takedown. Looks as though he might have hit his head on the ice. And oh, he's been cut open. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that is a nasty fall. I'm not sure that it was a punch. I think it's where his head hits the ice. When he wrestles down Fitzgerald. And it was Fitzgerald that landed the biggest bombs in that one. And you can see there that that is really, really nasty. And there's going to be a cleanup operation that needs to take place. And we hope that Mark Lewis is, is going to be okay. Forehead first onto the ice. Steelers doctors to work on him right away. Game winners for the Devils as well. Big crunching hit comes there. Mark Lewis just. Uh, Jasinski's not happy. Who is that? Somebody got destroyed in the corner. Well, the temperature just rising a little bit here after those few little bouts of physicality. Yeah, it's good hockey right now. The Devils are coming at speed with physicality, but the clan are looking to match them. And here we go. Here we go. Mark Lewis is going to go, and Dodie has dropped the gloves. Right coming in from Lewis and a few left. Dodie now returns and the don't go down, won't keep throwing. A uh, bit of a bit of a non event in the end, but Mark Lewis certainly got in those early shots. And here's Joey Martin. Here we go. And Mark Lewis is gonna drop the gloves by the bench. He didn't like that hit and he unloads over with Dane Byers. Byers and Lewis now. Spinning around and Lewis 
wants to carry on and Dane Byers isn't interested and that's an odd oh, turn of events because right. Byers knows how to throw him too, Gav. Yeah, I don't like that. That one was ready to go. There was a few punches thrown back and forth. I don't know why Byers was uh, uninterested in carrying that one on. Um, very strange to see. And we'll try and get through it. Oh, and now we oh, here we go. Mark Lewis is away and firing right hands down there. In the corner, they battle hard and down to the ice. Mark Lewis was not happy with the play moments ago. And my goodness. Start forward for the Devils. He looks in front. He finds Batch. Batch tries to go back across there for Bentivoli. I believe Batch already has one point tonight. He was looking for his second. And now Doty. And we got a fight down here. We got Doty and Mark Louis. They're going. Doty throwing right. Louis throwing left. Two big boys here. Good job here by Doty trying to get the fans going. Both exchanging punches here. Louis has no helmet. Doty gets the takedown. And that brings the Panthers fan to their feet. Great job there by Doty trying to get the boys going here. Now in the slot, and there's a first decent look at goal. And Bounds had to be alive to it. Fournier can't get it out again. There's another chance out in front. And now there's a fight in the corner. Mark Lewis, the stick up for 48, get a huge right from Lewis. And another. Both players caught up a little bit in the boards. Lewis taking exception to that run from behind. It's Josh Gratton. He's trying to get his arm free and left from Lewis. And another one, and another one. Lewis fired up tonight. And now the lines are going to jump in. But well, that's a marker laid down by Mark Lewis, who has really stepped up the enforcing role in this past few weeks. As the Devils leave their zone, Evan Ritt collides with Gleason Fournier, but Mark Lewis takes exception and shares his displeasure with the Flames forward. The pair receives matching fighting penalties, with Devils tacking on an extra couple of instigator minutes. During a off the ice, so. Currently six on four. A bit of interference between Shane Baker and Cardiff Devils player there. Bit of scrapping going on. Rubber cuts going either way. Both players wrestled out the ice. 35 seconds to go in the third. It was a bit wide, yeah. Yeah, they're shouting for too many men, but the guy's got to touch the puck first before they can make the call. One's on getting a shift, he sends it up. Mackenzie goes in search. Oh, here we go over to the bench. That man Lewis again, Goatee trying to get a hold of him here. Yeah, you know, shoot, you know this, it was a good hit because his helmet got knocked off there. One of the Cardiff guys goes flying in. Oh, Gauthier. And Mark Louis and Gauthier are going to head to the box here. Long goes down from a stick and we're going to get a fight. It's Lewis and Springer. Both men sizing each other up and this was bound to happen after the last few shifts. Left from Lewis to start this one. Springer's come back out of the tyre. Another right from Mark Lewis on a left. And Springer goes down, and a right from Lewis, and Springer is trying to retaliate, but the linesmen are in now. Mark Lewis has done his job on that one, he's got the crowd well and truly on their feet. Yeah, this is the loudest I've heard the Viola Arena all season long, and cheering on number four, Mark Lewis.
back. He couldn't put it away. He is going to have a spike straight out of the box. It's Canyon and Lewis. And Lewis with a right to start things off. Now a left. Canyon's returning a couple. Lewis has gone to ice. A few rights coming back. Lewis. These boys are tougher than a Wetherspoon steak. Back and forth with a few rights. And they'll go back to the box. They've done what their team needs. A great couple of backs and forths. And they go into the box with smiles on their faces. Yeah, two big boys throwing down there right after those penalties expired. Just a lovely bit of fun. And here we go. We knew it was going to happen because Pellich, Pellich and Lewis both had that intensity down in the tunnel. And now Pellich goes for Lewis at center ice. Lewis only too happy to oblige. A left hand from Lewis. He caught Pellich on the back skate. Now they're both throwing right hands into the side of the head. And Pellich throws a few body shots. He's got the elbow pad off. And Pellich trying to spin Lewis. They're going to reset. These are two tough hombres right at center ice at SSC Arena. Pellich and Lewis trying to send a message. The helmet comes off of Pellich. He spins Lewis again, but Lewis tries to go to the left hand, and they're going to hold on. And with eight minutes gone in the first period, Pellich sending down the marker. Good scrap there, pretty even. Be careful, there was no whistle on the play. They let it keep going. And you had Farnham after Dixon. You had Pellich after Dixon. Now Lewis and center ice. A big scrap now between Pellich and Lewis. Take two. They went last week at SSC Arena. Big right hands from Lewis. Pellich has lost the helmet. He's holding on with that left, trying to stretch out. Big Lewis. Right hand from Pellich. Big right hand from Lewis. Two tough competitors at center ice. You knew something was going to happen when Farnham went after Dixon. Pellich and Lewis. They were happy to do it last week, happy to do it this week. Pellich holding on again, trying to string out Lewis, but Lewis has that jab, that left hand that can catch the chin. He surprised Pellich at the start of the fight last week. Right now, holding on, and Lewis, look at Lewis. Chatting the whole way through with Pellich. They give each other a little tap on the back, but Pellich and Lewis right at center ice, and Lewis saluting the crowd there, saying, yeah, we're on our way. Another big scrap between Lewis and Pellich, and what a second period here in Viola Arena. What a battler Wade McLeod is. You don't know the story. Well, we've got a fight. Speaking of battlers, it's Lewis and Springer. We talked about Springer off the top. He's not afraid to mix it up. And Mark Lewis, one of the toughest guys in the league. Lewis trying to throw a couple of left hands. And while it takes three officials to try and break this up, I'm not sure that was the smartest decision by the linesman to get in there as Lewis was still trying to throw some punches there. The last thing you want, it had to cram. McNally over the top. The Devils are not slowing down. Oh, and that was a late hit. That's going to be a penalty. And Lewis is going after Keaton Ellaby. He's dropped the gloves. And Ellaby is down. And the punches went in on Ellaby, who was down on the ground. And the Steelers didn't like that. But Lewis didn't like the hit that came in. And he went after Ellaby. And when Ellaby was on the ground, the punches continued. And that's got the Steelers riled up. Oh, Con sorry, Connolly is having words with me. Karotza in. Over Richard shoots. Nice save by Carruth. Carruth not happy as he gets bumped into again, but I think Richard's just uh, only have a bit of a coming to here. Richards and Lewis, see if they're going to pair off. I don't think the linesmen are going to uh, let those guys get loose. I'm not sure I'd want to get loose with Mark Lewis either. He's not happy, obviously. But now we have Register joining in. Lewis is still throwing punches over the linesman here. Oh, oh big punch there coming in. The linesman's in. Lewis just throwing punches on him, and the linesman have to grab him. Like he, he's going to be out of the game. I mean, Richards took a couple of big shots there. Yeah, uh, yeah. He got hit pretty hard, I think. Yeah, he's 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 leaking. I think. I mean, Mark Lewis jumping to the aid of his goalie. Obviously, as you expect, linesmen are in there. Lewis is going to be, I imagine, kicked out of this game. Still a bit of pushing and shoving. Big Tats is in there. The crowd rising another check behind the net and it's just getting a bit feisty here. And here's Skimmons. Simmons and Brandt. Simmons 
is really not happy with Riley Brandt. And now here's Chase Ruddy and Mark Lewis. Oh, Lewis straight in there. And that one was over very, very quickly. Lewis heads straight off, as does Ruddy, towards the end of the period. So they may as well head back to the locker room. There'll be more penalties as well. So Simmons heads to the box. Lake was knocked over, and Brent tried to come in and absolutely put Garside into the front row. As the physical tempo is heating up now, Brent and Lewis come together as Cooper was knocked over by Lewis. A fight, Lewis and Stevenson at center ice, and Lewis, a real heavyweight, Dyson Stevenson is tough as they come right at center ice at Ice Arena Wales. A couple of rights from Stevenson. Lewis tries to stretch him out, throws an uppercut, does Lewis. They tangle up right in front of the Glasgow clan bench, but Dyson Stevenson with a couple of right hands and a big bomb by Lewis. Lewis loses his helmet though, and Stevenson has the shirt over his head as Lewis tries to pull him up against the boards and a spirited tussle between Mark Lewis and Dyson Stevenson. A little pat on the chest there. Immense respect between these two battlers. Yeah, that's a real battle. Like I said, two tough customers. Like Stevenson's trying to get a reaction from his team. They're down three nothing. It's an important game for them, and he's trying to, to wake the bench up. You can see he goes into the change room, slamming the door. He's not happy about it, but this is a battle. We know how tough Lewis is, and Stevenson, obviously Lewis answers the bell. He knows what Stevenson is trying to do. But out of respect, he drops the gloves and doesn't uh, shy away from the battle, even though his team's up 3 nothing. Gives Stevenson the chance to get his team going. If they don't get, go if they're not going to get going after, uh, 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 Stevenson is going to go out and challenge a guy like Lewis. Well, nothing's going to work, Murph. But both teams have had opportunities at net, and now there's a chat going on. It's Gagnon and Lewis, and here we go. We're going to have a scrap early on. I think this has been threatened all season. Gagnon and Lewis. Lewis's helmet comes off. Gagnon. Getting the upper hand, he looks to get him on the boards. Couple of rights going in, Lewis with some counter offense. And now Gagnon with a couple of bombs. And now Gagnon's helmet comes in, and Lewis is down on his knees. Great fight, two strong men. And Gagnon gets the crowd lifted. Both heads to the box. A really good scrap. We've not seen too many here at the NIC this season. But that was one for the ages. A really, really good fight between these two tough men. So on our penalties for both, I doubt very much there'll be any instigation. I think it'll be five for each. 2.35 the time of the penalties.